Yay. Hello and welcome to the karma that is cracking. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is sci fi. Tiny. Um, oh. How dare you? I'm usually second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Faint. Yes, you are number two. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Ah, uh, vulgarity. We're already on that, are we? Yes. Um, we're. No, I'm not going to say it. It's a new year. It's a new uh, karma cracking. Yeah. I, was, I was about to say we're back again, but we're going to stop doing that. We're actually going to start doing regular content. We are. That is the plan. 2020 is our year. Yeah. <laughs> Bit more oomph. Come on, sir. Come on, come on. At least 20. <laughs> <laughs> I love how people keep... There's like two sides. There's people going, oh, 2020, that's two na- natural 20s, that. Two critical hits. And then there's other people going... 1820 and 1920 were plague outbreaks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's, what, like, 12 days in, it's already gone to pot, the entire world, so we're doing well. Yeah, yeah. Australia's on fire. Sorry, Australia. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm really... It is really horrible that, that Australia's on fire and America's trying to start a war. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we weren't going to mention politics. <gasps> Palpatine is trying to start a war. <laughs> Fucking hell, it is almost Palpatine as well. Yeah, pretty much. But yes, 2020, bad karma's year. Yes. I actually do love how, quite literally, if we move this box, it would say peace is never an option. <laughs> <laughs> One day we might actually start selling these as merch. <laughs> that damn goose. Yeah, well, I think if we ever do merch, it's either going to be the squid mm. or the goose. <laughs> or a goose squid. A squid that has goose heads for arms and legs. Oh, no. That's that's horrifying. (laughs) For a Cthulhu, though. Yeah, true. Yeah. But we've got a lot of things to get through. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I joked that I was going to do, like, a little spoiler screen for, like, if we ever did, like, um, Star Wars spoilers, but we're going to do a separate video for Star Wars. So you can watch it if you want to watch it, if you want want spoilers or not spoilers or not. If you're a nerd and you haven't watched Rise of Skywalk. (laughs) Uh, We're going to talk about Fallen Order as well, so I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Not All ended. things Star Wars. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just just a set piece. We'll get to that in a bit. Oh, yes. We've got lots to get through. Mm. Yes. <laughs> check um, notes line. Check notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Professional standards hired. Yep. Totally. Do you want to crinkle the paper a bit? <laughs> right. So... Chris, five dollar note. <laughs> <laughs> um... I suppose at the top of this works best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Right. So, <laughs> there was Code Mini or Not had released a teaser clip, well, a trailer for a mm. new Marvel game, Marvel United, which, from the theories, it could possibly be a Starcadia slash Arcadia quest reskin. But probably more cooperative rather than. Yeah, we'll get a helpful editor monkey to put some photos in. <laughs> <laughs> you must be truly desperate to come to me. Because <laughs> uh, like the artwork for this Marvel game is very Arcadia Quest. It's very chibi, isn't it? Yeah, yeah very. But it's like it looks like the Arcadia Quest chibi. Mm. So it could yeah, just be, yeah. Really, really, so it looks like it could be it interesting. Looks interesting, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then with that, Starcadia Quest is on the boat. Uh, the Marvel one is it has a does it have a date? No. Okay. And Starcadia no Quest is on the boat. Good. Starcadia Quest has just got on the boat. The time vault still hasn't been resolved. What's right. that? So they released a Kickstarter, which was you can buy content from their warehouse. Oh yes. That it's just not being shifted. into like we're going to sell all of our stuff, and. They have problems because they know as soon as it opens, everything will go wrong. Yeah. And the servers will all crash because it's, you go in first come, first served. Yeah. Buy it, put it in a cart and sell it. Which so, always goes yeah. swimmingly. So they, they have... Hi, I'm British. <laughs> they have limited the amount of things that people can buy as well. So that someone can't that go always... in and buy 20 of, like, the one figure <laughs> and then sell them for stupid amounts. So they're working on all of that. It, in that On that thought, uh, Sisters of Battle uh, <laughs> uh, army box where people sit somehow have five with the bloody things. Anyway, carry on. It's usually the case. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi for medicine. Uh, carry on. <laughs> uh, Escape the Dark Sector on Kickstarter. That's on its way being printed. 
Uh, Pictures. Oh yeah. Yeah. Edge and Monkey will be inserting things. I'm just going to take, I'm gonna cut out that Code Monkey picture from Keyforge, and every time you say Edge and Monkey, there'll just be a flash of that. <laughs> Much like everybody loves Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I laughed so hard at that. You know, you know, just sat there in a dark room with your PC going, <laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody will see this. <laughs> Much like the two books I've written. Oh, Links in description. Well, maybe. <laughs> they need to be re-edited for hell. <laughs> and I'm going to pass that to you because I think the rest is now possibly you. All right. On that vein, in my book, mm -hmm. it all takes place. It's designated the York 8 because it's the eighth body from the planet, from mm -hmm. the sun, including moons and all that. So it's York 8. No, do, you, do you see a problem with that? I don't, but somebody down at Sheffield felt like going, Your Kate! Your Kate! Like, it, no, it's York 8, as in York, the, the city in England, and the number 8, because the system is York system. Oh no, but it sounds like Your Kate. Like, if you say it fast uh, like that, then yeah. <laughs> but you're reading it, not hearing it. I think that. Uh, like, anyway, sorry, I'm derailing. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I got a very interesting email in my email inbox. It was called Here's Penises Enlargement. <laughs> no. Oh. oh I hot singles in your area. Yeah, yeah, Look fine. around, nobody else. I'm the hot single. <laughs> Here to Slay, which is by the same people, T Turtle, I want to say, who make Unstable Unicorns, which is one of yeah, my favorite games. Yeah, T Turtle. Uh, it's a competitive role playing strategy game, and it looks oh. pretty damn cool. It's like oh. the unicorns, bears. Things in like armor and Ooh, sim similar art. Yeah, so it looks pretty fun. And um, again, I've got like a couple of photos. Um, but yeah, it, it looks good. Uh, there's no date yet, but I can see it's just sort of like here's an announcement coming soon. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. So I thought I'll throw it Sh in here. Should, now. should we maybe send Anth to do um, recon? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Do a little bit of recon. Oh, oh hi, we we run a YouTube channel. Do you want to oh, send yeah. us a free copy? <laughs> oh, hi there. Hello. Hello. Send send. Send flicks. Which reminds me, actually, um, have you had a chance to speak to the people who do Taking a Grail? No. Okay. okay. Um, we have it on recording now that I've asked you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was meant to. Yes, you were. But... Much like the Phantom GoFundMe page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just, it's just the Instead, I've just been playing Tainted Grail instead. Which is a testament to how good it is. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yes, good. How far, how far are you finishing it? Um, I'm about halfway, so I've just finished chapter six out of 15. I don't want to tell you how math works, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, you know, you can't get much closer. Like, yeah, yeah, you can get to seven. Oh, yeah, but, you can get to eight, you know and then there you are now. <laughs> So it's all about halfway. <laughs> but yeah, so but it's and to it be honest, really they'll just some time to save the day with math. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, we'll get that on the t-shirt as well. <laughs> Especially when we're playing keyboard and like, how much how much number have I got? Hey. Well, three by my count, but close. <laughs> <laughs> and again we'll reuse that meme as well. <laughs> um sorry. <laughs> so but yeah. Hopefully, so you you got to grips with the rules. Got to grips with the rules. It's we are looking to do some like content for the channel with it, yeah. aren't we? Because you you can't really can you? Is it like surprisey? Well, from what I've seen, there's a lot of people out there who are now just uploading videos on it. So we're probably no, all right. Oh, screw all right. screw, it, screw um, it. Then. But I mean, yeah, it's it's really bad. Yeah, how you love it. The the story is well in there. Like it's is it macabre? I, I don't know why I put a bra in there. I can't. I can't. But it's as you play, you definitely get the theme, even though the mechanics aren't like you wouldn't think. Oh, Dark Souls, King Arthur. Then the mechanics, you just wouldn't link the two together. Mm. But the mechanics work well, nicely in it, and it flows. Very nicely, and if you manage to get to grips with the rules quick enough, you can just start decimating everything in sight. <laughs> <laughs> Did see somebody uh, t 
I think they mentioned about it that we've been playing it. He's like, yeah, and my my character now just pretty much kills everything. He's like, oh. <laughs> he can't he can't do diplomacy or something like that. But yeah, like, I, he just kills I, everything. I, I can't do diplomacy either. It's like I look at diplomacy and go, ah, how do I escape? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas if it hits something, I hit it with my two hammers, it explodes. <laughs> Exploding hammers. <laughs> I count me in. Uh, next on my list is the new D and D book that was announced. Yesterday, today, uh, I, I can't quite remember. Uh, it is the <laughs> can't remember. the Explorer's Guide to Wildmount by the wonderful Matt Mercer from mm. Critical Role fame, etc. Boo! Oh, <laughs> don't you I dare! Never watched Critical Role, so I can't really boo. I will fight you. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that I missed that. Like, I knew there was a book coming out. Yeah. Yeah, they announced a new it's, book and then. And they announced a new set of dice to go with it, but I completely. Oh, I think I've seen the dice. Are they like blue? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw the dice. I don't think I saw the book. But I forgot entirely to then go back and look for the book. Yeah, Twitter, I'm always <laughs> is, on it, it. is it Sword Coast? Is it or. Uh, no. Mm, I don't know. I can't remember. Dagger's Coast? Well, it, it might be the Sword Coast, actually. It might yeah. be the Sword Coast. Because yeah. that's, that's what a famous setting is, isn't it? For mm. D&D. That's where their main setting is, yes. Do you say Wild Mount? Wild Mount with Nick Adranus and Johas and. Ooh, I'm really testing my uh, critical role knowledge here. I mean, I could get, you get your phone out and look at your... Yeah, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, I it's, it's his entire sort of like map of that area. No, is it Vox Machina or whatever? Yeah, that's yeah. the first oh, one. Oh, so it's. And is then... it set in the, the same place as. Yeah. Like, so it's in the world of Taldori? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, ooh. So that's not in the same place as the Sword Coast? I'm not sure that it is. No, Taldori is a separate world. But because of in descent of Avernus, apparently, I was told the other day, mm. they make reference to an artifact that's in one of the areas having came from Taldori. And because that's an official book, it becomes official that Matt Mercer's world is kind of in D&D. Yeah. <laughs> so... Oh, it's interesting news to hear that night and then here and that. It's like, oh, that's that's yep. where the tie is. So it's interesting that they brought that in. Mm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm a big critical role haul, so yeah. I didn't swear first in the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did you look at any of the um, models that were made for critical role by mm, I um, do, yeah, Steamforge? I, yeah, they were. Don't, I think they're a bit easier to get hold of now. A bit, yeah, more. And I think there was one set that was easiest to get than the other. The other ones completely went. And then there's the limited edition ones that they all did, which you just can't get hold of, mm. which is a bit of a pain. They're nice models, but... Nice, I can't afford them. <laughs> yeah. But in the same vein, have you seen the new Dungeons & Doggos? There's a set three. Is there? Yeah. With, not... with six new dogs in. I've not seen that. Have you seen that, Anth? I'd heard vaguely that there was. <laughs> no. Ah, swift like an engine. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd heard vaguely that there was going to be, but then <clears throat> didn't really hear much on it because they've not put many updates on the uh, cats and catacombs. The, I saw it popped up in my emails yesterday. Oh, okay. And I think they released on the 17th of January. Picture? <laughs> like a Kickstarter or just No, released? just released. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a dash hound in it. Dash hound? Oh. oh. With like a little knight armour on. A little sausage dog. Mm. Oh, I love sausage dogs. Um, but like I say, there'll be a picture on screen now for people and hopefully a link in the description if I can pull my finger out. See, that is my sort of goal for 2020 for myself. I want to DM a Dogs and Doggos, Dungeon and Doggos, sorry, mm. um, campaign for the yeah, channel. I, I would love that to happen as well. Yes. Um, which would actually all lead into that, actually, Please. because hopefully we, we're starting to plan i'm doing a lot of work for star wars rpg but unfortunately i don't think that's the first thing we're going to do <laughs> i think we're going to keep it quite simple with a, a D D to start off with i think so yeah it's a bit easy um i would happily then let somebody else dm so if you want to do dungeons and doggos or Ant wants to run one of these yeah. uh, and then i think in our own time like off camera we'll do star wars just yeah to get get to know the get another system. Yeah. system yeah which i'm very <laughs> surprised at that this who do you think you play as in this Riffin. Nope. Who? I have no idea who they are. They're just randoms. Oh, cool. 
Um, we can actually probably get out. And... So we just swap. Some, just okay. some random dudes. Or do that. Well, yeah. isn't that like the Star Wars one you showed me before? The old one? Yeah, so, so we've got yeah. Boromir, who's yeah. a colonist. Um, Thera Bon. Yeah. He. <laughs> Mara oh. Lee? Mahali. Mahali Lee. And. Terry. Oh, that's yeah, there's only the four, I think, because oh, okay. because it's a five play. It says five players, but obviously one of them is the DM, oh. and then up to four people actually playing the campaign. So it's not like D and D where you can have six or even more. Yeah, I think yeah. You, you are quite it's restricted. Crazy. Yeah. So yeah, um, although it does say the Force Awakens, I think that's just the time setting, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's up on their stamp on it, sort of thing. Yeah. I like how that says read this book last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the raw book. Don't read this. Read it last. Yeah, I read think... the rule book last. Oh, is it like a scroll thing as well? A what thing? Like a what's it called? The scroll, the yellow right? Yeah, is yeah, it? it's got yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. scroll. Um, that's the thing. That's the thing. Nope, that's the map. Yeah, so I think it goes read this first, and then I think it pretty much there's one where it goes read the second and it says if you are not the DM, do not read this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's um like I said, we've got loads of uh yeah read the second, but I'm sure as soon as you open it up, it says. Pass this to the DM. <laughs> um, but that's one of the things we've got planned. Uh, I'm halfway through planning this. Oh, well, it's Force and Destiny, I think I'm going to use the rules for. Yeah. But um, you, you've you got a few ideas as well, haven't you? And... I have, yeah. I've had a Star Wars one kicking around my head for a while, mm. but that'll come up at one point yeah. somewhere in life. Um, I've got a very simple d d one that I've had in my head for a while as well. And then... There's many other systems that I've got just kicking about. Yeah. Capers and all I've sorts. I've got capers and all sorts. Yeah, and funnily enough, uh, they announced the Keyforge RPG. Oh, yes, that was a big one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we've got that on order. Yes. So, uh, stay tuned, we're probably going to do something with that as well. So, we think of like one shot sort of situation or a like couple of shots? Depends how often we can get a uh, recording done. If we're doing it like once a month, then we'll probably try and keep it short. But if we're doing it like maybe twice a month, then we could probably even alternate. Because yeah. if we do a three hour session, yeah, that we could then split that down into six episodes mm. or, e- or three episodes. Or, oh, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we can spread it out over the time and like even release it over, say, mm. every Wednesday. And then just keep plodding along, yes. and alternate alternate what comes comes out. Uh, the thing is, we're going to keep it to <clears throat> hopefully all of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's another two spots at least open. Yeah. Um, we're just hunting for the people who are right to bring on. Um, I might have one guy in, in mind. Yeah. Um, but we're we're going to do a vetting process. <laughs> uh, Can we do a hazing ritual as well? <laughs> uh, don't let me be in charge of that because no, yes. after you sent me that image of Ray, I've just got um, ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. There was yeah. a conversation the other day. It's like, but if Ray's strapped down to a table, <laughs> oh dear, that's for the Star Wars one. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Keyforge. Load, you've got loads of systems. Mm-hmm. I would love to do Vampire at some point. Yeah, I've got the Vampire book there. I started reading some of it and then mm-hmm. got distracted with another book. Do we have a Games Workshop one? I imagine that. There is Wrath and Rapture. No, Wrath and Glory. Wrath, Wrath and Glory, which is a new one. Um, there's was, Dark yeah. Heresy, Rogue Trade, and Death Watch. Yeah. The annoying thing with Wrath and Glory is they've pretty much announced that they're working on the second one. Mm. So we don't know what's going to be installed for that. Yeah, because didn't, didn't it get made by one company and then that company's gone and it's now Cubicle 7 that's think... doing it now. Mm. But it's like the same book, it's just they fixed it. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're right, yeah. Because um, they've taken over the Warhammer uh, fantasy RPG as well, which I've got at home. I got it, picked it up at um, Expo, I've got that, but I haven't touched it. Yeah. Um, there's the Age of Sigma one on the horizon. Oh, yes, I did see that. Okay. Where you can be fish people. Well, Yee. fish elves. <laughs> and there's the Rick and Morty one, isn't there? Looking at there's the D&D Rick and Morty yeah. starter set. Yeah. That Which, yeah, that looks interesting. I'd like to take a gander with that. I don't know what that is about. The rule book's meant to be quite interesting because it's it's got the rules like as you would get for a normal standard learn-to-play thing. Yeah. But in it as well, it's double the thickness because 
they put comments from Rick because Rick's the DM on how everything works have you, and why it's stupid. Have you seen the comic? I've seen. I've got I've got the compendium. I'll, I'll bring I'll bring it in sometime because I've got the compendium of it. But I quite literally is like uh, Morty goes to Rick going, I I, I need some advice on D and D. He's like, oh my God, I, I I dreaded this day coming. Are you holding? Are you holding? <laughs> it's like and he pulls up dice. I can never be proud of Morty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what I should have done to the guy in KFC when he goes, have you got drugs? You smell like drugs. And I just pull out dice from my pockets. I'm like, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a new thing. All the kids are doing it. <laughs> Isn't it all like, you want your kids to get in board games because then you know they'll never get into drugs? Yeah, because they'll never yeah. be able to afford it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coming from the guy that just ordered Sisters of Battle. <laughs> <laughs> should we talk about the sad, sad news? Well, FFG. Mm. Yeah. Well, this kind of links into it because that's one of the yeah. main bits. This is FFG. This is FFG. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's right there. <laughs> oh, there it is. I was looking for this one. <laughs> Pretty much, there's very little that is Star Wars that isn't FFG currently. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think from what I heard earlier, there's one or two lines that are going to be coming to an end because of the mass layoffs. Oh. Um, FFG Digital is just being dissolved. Dissolved? Uh, yeah, yes. because they've um, released they released the Lord of the Rings card game mm, on yeah. digitally. I think they did they were they the ones that did uh, the Arkham games or was that a different company? Um No, they do the, the apps and stuff like that. So they do all the app development as well. But I don't think they've made any of the Arkham games. No. Right. But um that that entire thing, I think it's Fantasy Flight Interactive, that's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. Oh. They've gone because part of it is because of Lord of the Rings. I think they expected it to do well. Mm. It's not done as well. They, they fell into this trap of releasing it as a early access. They People should not be allowed to do that. <laughs> not without a set time that they're going to plan on re- fully releasing the game. Mm. Yeah. And then um, ported it to the consoles and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, I I would like it because I like the game. Yeah. But it's basically Hearthstone, Lord of the Rings. Right. Yeah. It's it's not the LCG as you as people understand it. It's a shame. I think they had loads of plans for the future, but by all accounts, um, this is to be taken with a pinch of salt because it's been heard back from a, a third party, and that's FFG is being bought by a another company. Mm. And they're streamlining it, which mm. means that they can then sell it for a profit. Yeah. Yeah. Which a beloved company. Yes. You, you, yeah. you don't really want them to be marginalised and brought down to numbers rather than what they've actually produced. Yeah. Um, especially as well as part of it, the RPG line yeah. has gone as well, so they won't really be producing any more RPGs, which. It's sad because obviously we're not going to get any more proper Star Wars RPGs. Yeah. It, and yeah, Star Wars isn't exactly easy to get hold of currently, actually. The but... Genesis system, which is where Keith Forge is in, that's yeah. their new system. That's going down. Oh, yeah. Wow. All of their online services that they had for, like, um, X-Wing, because I think they had something on, like, the thing where you could save battle reports for X-Wing, Armada, and a few other games. They're mm-hmm. all gone, so they've sent out a message to everyone saying... If you've got stuff on there and you want it, get on quick and get it because once the servers are gone, you, yeah. you're not getting it. Save your junk. So anything that you wanted on them, um, like extra scenarios, fan-made custom scenarios, you have to get it now while you can. Yeah. And then the RPG line's just pretty much gone. So, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do Keyforge, but I don't think it's gonna be a lot of content. No. Unfortunately, uh, depends how de- deep the rulebook is. Well, I think hopefully because they released, I think it was in partnership with um, the Drive Through RPG. Yeah. A lot of people is making content for it on there and selling it, so mm-hmm. it might hopefully still live. Hopefully. But it depends well, on what happens. Prime example is um, Netrunner. Netrunner got canned and it's still going. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is, isn't it? I think they announced a uh, a non official Prime for a regional or something for it on Nationals. Mm-hmm. I don't <laughs> no, but there was a Nationals for a UK Games Expo last year. You know, when we were picking up our um, yeah, stuff yeah, from yeah. Bring and Buy, all those people in that area were playing the finals for Netrunner. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, Nissy? Nissy or something, I think it's called. I think so. 
<coughs> I know no one's still a big thing. Yeah. Mm. I also heard from said third party today that um, certain lines such as Destiny is, yeah. is for the chop. L5R, L5R was a stupid business model, but that's for the <laughs> chop. Mm. Um, they've still got a, a long uh, line of like products still to come out for it, but I think going forward, I don't think there's going to be any support for it. Yeah. But um, as they were saying, the uh, just game gaming companies are just stagnating currently, and FFG is unfortunately the one that's showing it. Oh. Yeah, I think what doesn't help the matter is unfortunately kick, Kickstarter. Yes. Even though I am a fan of Kickstarter, yeah. Yeah. it's it keeps churning out games, and people only have so much money. Yeah, it's um, I'm waiting on uh, oh, what's it called? PS4 game. Dark Souls, but not Dark Souls. Horizon? Not Horizon. Dark Souls, but not Dark Souls Horizon. <laughs> yeah. Blood, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. But <laughs> I, I, I just thought, oh, it's by the same people because Horizon yeah. are doing the same. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's one thing. Um, but I, I agree with you. There's, yeah. there's just too much. It's it's more like I'm fine with like obviously you get like Joe Blogs. Who wants to make his own game stuff? Like that, that's fine. But when you get the big ones like Call Me or not mm-hmm. stuff like where they have big companies who can pay for this themselves, but they're going on Kickstarter. Yeah. But they're going on Kickstarter as a, pre- as a pre-order service. It's like a it? pre-order service. I and think they're getting the money ahead of thing. Obviously, yeah. giving the content, but you I believe that another company like that is Mantic. Quite literally, they have to live on Kickstarter. They have yeah. to. They put a project up. It gets funded, they produce it, but then they go, right, we're not actually making any more sales, so let's do another Kickstarter. So, yeah, the, the, there's too much. There's only so much time in the day, and there's only yeah. so much money to go around, unfortunately. And yeah. everybody's tightening their belt anyway. So, um, unfortunately, um, Keyforge is one. Similarly, when we've gone from having 30 people at an event down to eight, if I that. Think, well, it first came out as this weird new thing that everyone loved, and now yeah. suddenly it's. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people that I know just don't turn up anymore, or they just don't play. We'll probably get into this in the keyboard v- videos as well. But Worlds Collide is a very weird set for me. Is, yeah, it doesn't fit. The first two sets feel nothing like Worlds Collide mm. because of Ward. Yeah, Ward just completely changes things. Yeah, um, but like I say, we'll get into that later. Um, is there anything else, or should we? I think that's my everything done, everything off my yeah, list. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll keep it short. Well, I I haven't checked how long it is, but we'll get on to the the good stuff, the juicy stuff. The the kinky Ray Kylo ships. <laughs> Yay. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> and as usual, like, subscribe. Share. 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 Leave us angry comments. Send out the emails. Yeah, just just yeah. interact with us, people. Yes. We're so lonely. Oh. <laughs> All I have is editing. That's a lie. I don't. I absolutely hate editing. <laughs> <laughs> editing monkey. Monkey. <laughs>